guys, this is Bizzle, and I'm going to talk to you about more of the stuff that's going on that, I mean, with this being like a major threat or whatever, but like I said in the past video, this can't do any harm unless you're physically going to put your finger on a trigger and pull it, but first, you got to take it off safety, but... As far as the whole thing going on, let's see here. I don't know if I was 16 when I took my firearm safety class, but I think I, I started hunting right after that. I, 16 or 17 years old, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's around that area that I started hunting. And, I mean, I didn't hunt alone. My dad was with me. But I still got to fire the rifle. And I understand that under no circumstances is it okay for somebody to go into a school and shoot it up. I totally understand the concept with that. I'm not arguing that point. I'm not arguing anything to do with that. I'm arguing that, I mean, a lot of people are saying they want to take and ban guns. When guns aren't the problem. I, I swear. If if you could spank your child. Or at least discipline it to a point. Where it's not abuse. I bet you. Kids nowadays. Would have a little bit more discipline. And a little bit more respect. You know. What What's this Tide Pod shit that I'm hearing. Are people actually eating detergent. Like. Are you fucking kidding me. But, I grew up in the wilderness. I've been around guns. I own a handgun. I own an AR. I own a shotgun and a rifle. And I think a 30 odd 6 So, I, like, two rifles. Three rifles, technically, because this is a rifle. It's not an assault weapon. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm getting a lot of, it feels like a lot of people don't know what the hell they're talking about, <laughs> but like I said, everybody has their own opinions, I have my opinions, if you're not willing to hear them, don't have me on Facebook, ever since this thing's gone down, I've been posting gun things, I've been posting like research, uh, you can be 18 years of age, I guess, to buy an AR, which I didn't know until I looked it up. Uh, I know you do need a permit to purchase or your permit to carry. And the reason being you need a permit to purchase or a permit to carry is because this has this. It has a pistol grip. And like a regular rifle or shotgun, you know, you have your thing right here you don't have a, a grip so anything with a pistol grip I guess you need your permit to carry or your a permit to purchase or license to purchase so this wasn't easy to get I, I don't know where everybody's saying that these are so easy to get they're not easy uh, first you have to get your permit to purchase and what you do is you go to the police station and you fill out a form and then you have to wait for it to come in the mail. And that usually takes maybe two, three weeks. Uh, your per your light, or uh, excuse me, your permit to carry, uh, you have to pay $100 to take a course. Then you have to shoot for the instructor so you can show them that you know how to use a weapon. And then you gotta go to your sheriff's department and you gotta fill out more paperwork and then you pay another hundred dollars to get a piece of plastic like a driver's license and that's not even what, buying the gun you have to go like so like this one i bought at cabela's i picked it out i asked questions i got familiar with the weapon then i had to go on the computer and i had to fill out some more paperwork and then he had to check it and then i think that takes about 30 minutes to an hour and then they'll ask you if you have your either your permit to purchase or your license to carry or 
however you want to say it. I say it a different way than most people. But I have both. <laughs> uh, and then once he sees that everything's legit and all the addresses and stuff are right, then you can buy your weapon. You just don't walk into the store and be like, oh, I want that one. Oh, thank you. And I'm, you know, no, it doesn't work like that. You have to actually do a bunch of things to get one of these. Uh, I can't even pause this. Um, hold on, I'm going to show you something else. All right, I'm back. So I even have a bow. I mean, this is still a weapon. This can still kill. Yes, you have to do a little bit more to, you know, go hunting with it. But, I mean, it's just a different thing. And, like, I'm definitely not going to say names because I don't want to be that person. But I've had people ask or say, I don't even understand why people have guns or weapons. Um, you can collect them there's for sport there's competitions there's hunting i mean there's all kinds of things you can get and you know collect and just own i got an ar because i wanted one i shot one in basic and i missed it and i wanted to own one so granted it's not like the one in basic but you know it's a semi-auto. It's not fully auto. Like I said in the last video, civilians cannot purchase a fully auto. It was banned back in 1934. So, no, you can't own one. I mean, you can probably, you know, get it off the street somehow or black market or something, but you can't go to a gun store and buy a fully auto automatic rifle. You just, you just can't. And like I said, there's two things. There's two things for, or actually there's like three, if you want to look at it a certain way. So there's your safety switch. And I'm going to take this out because I don't feel like dealing with that. But then there's this that slides the bolt forward. And then you take it off safety so I mean there's three things you got to do but yeah so I mean the the rifle can only be dangerous if it's a hand if it's in the hands of a dangerous person uh, a weapon, a rifle, any type of gun cannot shoot by itself. It has to have somebody physically pulling that trigger. So when people say guns are the problem, no, it's not guns. It's the people that are using the gun. So, I mean, think about it. I Everybody has their own opinions, and I have mine, but... I don't know. It's it's just a lot of things that bother me. And I'll probably be talking about this for a while. You know, on the days. But, you know, just randomly talking. But to, I'm going to vlog tomorrow, and that's going to be a different vlog. But I'm going to go to bed. I have to get up. Um, I worked at late shift tomorrow or today. And I'll talk to you guys later.